All right, I got a 1961 North Carolina plate CU82. Kind of a cute little um, number there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restore this by basically stripping it down. And then I paint the black, the, the, the yellowish. And then I, uh, paint the uh, black over top and then you use rubbing uh, like a rubbing um, solution to get the um, remainder of the of the black off of the letters so I got rubber gloves basically I'm just stripping this down the bare metal now I'll just show I did this before now, while I'm doing this, I'll just show the other one that I did. Um, I don't worry so much about the license plate being on the YouTube video because this license plate is not registered anywhere, so you couldn't look it up, even if you wanted to. Anyway, this is what I did on the XJ740. It has a kind of a school bus color. And then um, I have that in my paint collection here, which is I've got some school bus. What was it? Rust uh, farm color or whatever. I have to figure out which one I used. And I'll probably just use that as well on this one. Same two colors, but it reverses them. So the 61 versus the 66. I'll just pause this until I actually finish. All right, so I wire brushed this off real well. So there's a little hole right here and a little hole over here on this side. And I thought about just hitting it with the welder and then uh, sanding it down with the Dremel. And I just decided I just don't care enough to do that. Plus with my welding, sometimes I blow through sheet metal and it's possible that I would cause a bigger issue than I had to begin with so I'm just gonna paint it and uh, that little um, I mean I suppose I could plug that with some kind of little body filler or something but I'm just gonna leave it with the holes I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal it's gonna be black and the numbers are then the yellow whereas on this one it's black numbers with the yellow on the background. So it's gonna be the opposite. So I think what I'm ready to do now is put some bare metal primer on this just to dust it, <clears throat> get it going. Make sure I... I think it just needs to dry out just a little bit more. Um, I, I'll take it in and hit it with the hair dryer real quick. All right, one coat of primer on here so bare metal primer just hoping for new runs and then I'm gonna you know you can see it didn't quite get in everywhere but I'm just dusting it supposedly hopefully nothing's running down off of this let's see turn it this way you can see my two holes that I had one there, one there. I did not do anything about them. So the way this is gonna work is I paint primer, one more coat. Then I paint the, the uh, orange, which I believe, let's see which one is it? Farm and Implement, I believe, is the color. Old Equipment Yellow. Old Equipment Yellow. It's the same. And this one. Feels like I probably used this one. This one's lighter. 
So I think darker, darker, a little bit lighter. So I think I'm going with school bus yellow. If I had to guess, let me just look and see which one did I probably use here. Probably the darker one. Looks like it's probably the darker one. So, well, I have three to choose from. A little bit of time. I'll let this dry and then probably in about 10, 15 minutes, I can do another coat of this. I've gotten off my uh, front bonnet, took off the handle and the hinge. And, uh, See, I've got some issues here. I'm gonna have to start taking all this off. I'll probably have to wire brush this thing down to uh, bare metal. It's got this, you know, I guess that's either a primer or a high, high build primer or something like that, but take all that down and see what I got underneath. Second coat of primer on there. Let's just look real close. Drips right in that H, right? It's not quite, but maybe I didn't wire brush every bit of goop out. Uh, this looks pretty good, I would say. You can see right there on the edge, there's like a little bit of goop. Um, Overall, that looks pretty good. So what this is going to get is it has to get the uh, school bus or whatever old equipment yellow on their first several coats. Then that has to dry really, really well. And then you go over it with the black and you put rubbing compound and you take off the raised letters with the rubbing compound. And that should give me an effect similar to this one where if you look closely at the edge you can see that it's not quite perfect but that's really about as good as you can hope for right so I was happy with this one and uh, this will the new one uh, for 61 will just have the reversed colors so all right, continuing on this license plate, I've got Farm Implement, which is old equipment yellow and black gloss, uh, which I've already primed it. So now I've, so I, I've got two coats of primer. I black glossed the back with one coat and I've got the first coat of old farm equipment yellow on the front. It's kind of speckly still with the white primer. Um, so I'm going to wait another 10-15 minutes and go over this again with another coat of the um, uh, of this yellow. And then as I mentioned, the idea is to let that dry overnight. Um, that is the yellow, let the yellow dry overnight. And then I'm going to put the black gloss just like it is here on the back. <clears throat> I'm going to put that over top of the yellow and then hopefully I can use the rubbing, uh, you know, the polish that's just slightly abrasive and rub off the um, black from the, uh, from this uh, yellowish color. All right, let's see. The black. Uh, it needs a little up top there. I'm just going to spray and this is going to be my last coat for the evening. So I'm just, I want it to be covered. Let's see where I'm missing anything here. Looks pretty good on the back side now. now. Let's just check the uh, this side. 
So it's got a little bit of black from the other side. Um, <clears throat> just little dots. So it's gonna get fully coated with black anyway, but I'll just do it. One more coat. See the top here. Okay, I think that's good. I'm gonna move this to the inside to hang for the evening. Yeah, see the back. See, that's what happens. Is the, it settles a little bit on the other side since I'm doing two colors at once, but no drips. Looks good as far as the yellow backside can always get. I mean, good enough. Let's move it.